There's some honeybees on the phacelia. There's some more honeybees. Oh, they just love these flowers. So basically all I'm trying to do here is just provide a little oasis for these pollinators, for my honeybees, in this living desert as we move into fall, as you know, all the, the crops stop blooming, as they start to mature, so all the ditches are being harvested for bales or mowed, getting ready for winter. I'm, I'm starting to lose all these natural flowers. Just preserving a little piece like this. This is important. This is important pollen and important nectar. More so that pollen, I'm looking for that pollen just to keep these girls going. I mean, what's this little piece gonna do, right? This isn't even gonna amount to much. But little pieces like that all over the place. I have 25 acres like this all across the farm. So I have just little pieces of pollen, little bits of pollen gonna be coming into the colony and they're gonna use it. And these pollinators are gonna use it. Like I'm, I'm hearing bumblebees, bumblebees within the phacelia. And just wait till these sunflowers bloom. That's gonna be a buffet of nectar. Look at the size of these sunflowers. Won't be long until they start blooming right on time. I'm looking through and the oats is coming through and the phacelia is just starting to bloom. And I have canola in here just starting to bloom. So in another week we're going to start seeing lots of uh, flowers within these little plots. They sure look healthy. There are a bit of weeds too. Here's some canola. Here's some phacelia just starting to bloom. Kind of making use of a little piece of wasteland. Here's some phacelia and a bumblebee making use. That is what it's all about, right? There is no doubt this yard is alive. This is the last main yard of the first pull. We had to come back just because we couldn't fit everything on the truck. I don't know if I'm making a mistake or not, but I'm not. I'm not adding thirds on this yard. So these last two yards that we did. They're full. And everything's telling me I should be putting a third on. But the countryside is pretty much barren. The last of the late canola is just about done blooming. But these girls are getting it from somewhere. Like we're shaking off nectar from the uh, scapes when they build the comb up, they're shaking nectar, but I don't know how long it's going to last. It's probably an alfalfa field around here that's kind of, you know, providing a little bit of fresh nectar for these girls just to get them energized and flying like this. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll just make sure that these two boxes get plugged full. So I'm going to come back. These will be full boxes of honey. And we're not quite done first pull yet. We have the nuke yards to do yet. We put escapes in them yesterday and they are chock full. I could have used a little, few more boxes to put on top of them. But I'm not complaining because if I get three boxes per stack, so I'm, they're coming back right full. I'm not going to complain about that. One yard, just working up into that third. The other two were right full. I could have used fourths. Whew. So we're just about done first pull. We have some boards set on second pull just because they were plugged right full. And I didn't want to put boxes on top of them. So we did, what we did is we just lifted about, what is it, eight yards and tossed some boxes underneath. So we're going to pull them back tomorrow. Pulling coming in. It looks really good. With nectar coming in, pollen coming in, they're still building this nest. Right now is when we start thinking about winter nest preparations. Right now is when they start building that winter nest. 
And when they have pollen and they have nectar, when they start to set this nest up, that's only but good things. Only but good things. So I'm just admiring the nectar flow. That's what nectar flow looks like. Admiring the fact that there's no robbing yet. I don't know how long that's going to last. August 7th and the empties on top are being ignored. So the crew's got the truck strapped down, off to the next yard.